Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey into men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Today a swift video but interesting information. I'm going to teach you how to tie a cravat or an ascot in three different ways in just a few minutes. First of all, why should you wear a cravat or an ascot? Well, it is visually stimulating. It's a really interesting item of wardrobe which is now kind of fallen into abeyance. So think about wearing an ascot or a cravat, bringing it into your wardrobe. It'll certainly make you stand out from the herd and make you look a little more colorful. So what am I talking about? Ascots and cravats, depends on where you're from. Typically in Europe, we erroneously call them cravats because cravat, of course, means any form of neck adornment, means ties as well. But we tend to refer, what I'm talking about today is cravats in Europe. In the US and other parts of the developed world, they tend to use the word ascot. It is the same thing. There are two general types. I'm gonna show you one type here now. This is quite often the most common type you'll hear referred to as a cravat or an ascot. It's, it's about a meter in length, and importantly, it has that pleated area in the middle between the two sort of larger points of the cravat or the ascot. This is what most people think of when they refer to a cravat. Then we also have a scarf type. Uh, depending on what your preference is, and I'm gonna show you how to do the knots which best suit either of these items. So let's get started with our standard cravat, and I'm gonna use the simple knot. So called because it is the simplest. So I'm gonna undo my smoking jacket. You'll notice that my shirt is undone because of course the cravat is worn against the skin of the neck uh, underneath the shirt. And it adds that bit of visual color in the, the throat area, the collar area of one's garment. So I'm gonna place the cravat around my neck. It doesn't matter where those pleats are facing up or down. Their job is to just help keep the, the knot in place. And the simple knot is, as it says, incredibly simple. Just one little knot like that and the bit which comes up over the top we just fiddle around with to get it looking nice then we tuck that excess into our shirt we just play with that knot to make it look good this can take a little bit of time it's easier if you're standing in front of a mirror as i am not right now but hopefully you get the visual interest of the of the collar jacket done back up that is the simple cravat knot. Can't be easier. Any pros and cons with this style? Yes, there is. It's the easiest by far. It takes but a moment to put on, but as you can see, it's quite loose around the neck. That means it's gonna lose its shape as time goes on and it will become saggy and you'll need to you know, tighten it up throughout the day. Not necessarily something you'll have to do with the next knot that we're gonna talk about, but the simple knot, it's dead easy. If you're worried about doing up a cravat, start with this and then take it further from there. Okay, let's go for knot number two, known as the traditional. And I think, if I'm being honest, this is probably the best one to use in day-to-day -day application of your cravat. Let's start with our standard cravat, back around the neck, under the collar. You want one side slightly longer than the other. If you're used to doing up a tie, this is gonna come easy for you because it's almost almost a four in hand. So you're gonna take one side over the other, round the back, over the other again, poke it up from behind. You see what I mean? We're almost at a four in hand. Now we can tighten it up, cinch it up around the neck and just pucker that bit on the top. Again, tuck it into the shirt back where we were last time. Make sure everything looks good. Do the button up, however you wish to wear your cravat. Tweak it around, look in that mirror, make sure it looks the part. It's all looking good. The color is radiating to the people that you see. Do the jacket up and there we are. The advantage of this one, it does allow you to get a tighter knot. It allows you to bring it up to the neck. Uh, it cinches up a lot better than that simple knot. It's gonna stay in place much longer, all day long. You don't need to fiddle around with it and it actually feels a bit more confident and on there. So. The traditional knot, probably the best to go for if you're just starting off with the cravat. Okay, so the final cravat ascot knot I'm gonna demonstrate for you today is the four in hand with a twist. It'll be obvious in a moment. This one definitely favors longer cravats, or in this case, 
a silk scarf, just to show if you haven't got a specialist cravat in the wardrobe, but you've got a silk scarf, an unlined silk scarf like this, you can press it into service. So it's easy. Around the back of the neck, imagine you're putting on a tie and you're using a four in hand knot. So the, the lengths uh, of the tails that we want here are gonna be roughly the same. Then we're gonna throw it over once, throw it over twice. We're gonna bring it up from behind over the top and we're going to pop it through that loop that we've just created, yeah? It is now, in essence, a four in hand tie knot. We're gonna cinch that up to the neck, nice and tight. This is what it's all about, really. It's the tightness. This is what makes this one a very good knot for a cravat. Now, we wanna get the rearmost of the two tails of our cravat that are hanging down and pop it through from behind. So, in essence, the knot is covered by the rear tail of our cravat. Now, we just get it looking good. We tuck it into the shirt, as we've done with all the other cravats, uh, knots that we've showed today. Just do the button up, make sure the collar is looking good, everything's fine. Just, you know what it's like, you look in the mirror, you get it just as you want it, all lovely and full-figured and beautiful. And there we go. Now, the positive of this cravat knot it's not going anywhere. It's gonna be there all day because you know you can cinch it up quite tight to your neck. It's a full figured, puffy type of cravat knot and it really does suit uh, quite thin, even scarves if you have them rather than cravats. So there we go. That is three ways to tie your cravat. The simple, the traditional, and the four in hand with a twist. Do not miss out on including a cravat in your wardrobe because believe me, as you can see, it is a way of bringing glamour and colour to the most ordinary of clothes in all sorts of circumstances. Casual, semi-formal, and hey, smoking jacket formal in the great outdoors. Give it a try. Thanks for listening. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget, click the like button and subscribe for more future videos of a similar nature. Until then, take care, look good in that cravat, and I'll see you very soon.